All right, welcome back to Predictive Key Gaming. Today we got some more Magic the Gathering, of course. Um, today we got uh, some more Ikoria in the form of a bundle. And we are looking for some stuff. I've already gone through uh, what exactly a bundle looks like. I've opened so many of these things that uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I don't need a refresher, but a little brother of a booster box. As I mentioned, I'm probably going to get some more just booster boxes and stuff like that. Because in reality, although it's nice to get, you know, classification in foil, it's simply cheaper to go ahead and get a boost box. Got your spin down counter. The always handy box. Let's see, we got some those Ikoria. Give them death touch, give them life life lane, give them give them give them give them stuff. Tokens. Wait, Shark Typhoon. Yeah. Fiend Artesian, right? Something like that. Luminous Brood Moth, Ketria Triome, Zagoth Triome, Raugrin Triome, and Vivian. Those are the uh, heavy hitters as of a little while ago. And um, today we're going to try to get into these massive monster powered booster packs. Anyway, what do we got? This thing's a little out of whack. Pangolin, Pyroceratops, Evolving Wilds, always around. Convolute, Unexpected Things, Fertilid, Solid Footing, Dreamtail Heron, Honey Mammoth, Raugrin Crystal, Clash of the Titans, Regal Leosar, and the Mythos of Vadrock. In the land and uh, how to play. So yeah, the mutate thing is still making its way around. Definitely something to keep an eye on. It's pretty wild that you still see a lot of Icoria mutate. You know the mechanics there, but you know some of the other stuff you don't really see. What the upside down? Oh, there's Vivian. Sorry, Vivian. I exposed you too early. And a token of a dinosaur. Anyway, that was weird. Upside down token. Anticipate. Commando. Shredded sails. Mysterious egg. Especially the egg. Seems to pop up a lot. But it's a, you know, one drop. And you mutate it. And it mutates. Gets plus one, plus one. So, definitely handy. Migration path. Trumpeting gnar. Call of the death. But yeah, that and a freaking white deck, lifelink white deck with the, it's uh, definitely seeing a lot of that. I guess that's a huge Mato right now. Hard to deal with unless you got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, stuff to take care of issues like that. It's almost like you want to only play Inspired Old Domain and a Foil Land. Invisible backwater and another upside down token. Unless you got a lot of removal, you know, pacifism or murder or um, just straight up cancel or return to the player's library or something like that. You know, it's uh, it's pretty hard to get away from because they grow so fast. Anyway. Aegis Turtle, Whisper Squad, Pyroceratops, Perimeter Sergeant, Bertolid, Volk, Volpiki, and uh, the Liger, both of them with a Mutate, Lead the Stampede, Void Beckoner, Kogla, very handy, Light of Hope, Pardon Our Noise, this is the Sound of Freedom, sounds like the blues are flying, but Kogla is pretty handy. 
he comes in, he's a 7-6, and he drop kicks uh, target creature you don't control. And wherever you attack, you destroy an artifact or a chant. Pretty handy. In my oh-so-humble opinion. Springjaw Trap. Crustacean. Lurking Deadeye. The Stinger. The Egg again. The Lynx again. Humble Naturalist. Mana Dork. There's your pacifism for Glimmer Bell. Migratory Great Hound. Great Horn. Mystic Subduel. Boneyard Lurker. Valiant Rescuer, Labyrinth Raptor, Menacing Raptors, upside down token. But the, um, yeah, big old monster cards, that's what Icoria is all about. Go for the blood, Light of Hope. So it's almost like you want to run multicolored, uh, Ikoria decks just to have the options open these days. Majestic Auricorn in Showcase. Adatha Crystal. Grim Dancer. Dranath Magistrate. Yeah, you definitely want to run all sorts of removal. It feels like, at least on Arena. But anyway, since, you know, Pretty much, if you're going to play Magic these days, you can only do it one place because, you know, stuff. Essence Scatter. Speaking of counter target creature spells. Zenith Flare. Savai Crystal. Splendor Mare. Offspring's Revenge. Oops. I think I was putting all those guys over there, right? Oh. Yeah, a couple more packs here. Got a couple things in the mail coming. Take a look at that's other than Magic the Gathering. Still trying to build up my collection of newer games to play with the family. Heartless Act. Raugrin Triome, one of the heavy hitters, but in showcase. So... Got that going for us. Swift Water Cliffs, no table required. But, uh, yeah. There's the egg again. <laughs> Startling Development, Bushmeat Poacher, Heightened Reflex, Coordinate Charge! Trap, Essence Symbiote, Vantasaur, Cavern Whisper, and Showcase. Titanoth Rex Indatha Crystal, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, and the Emergent Ultimatum to go to with our Inspired Ultimatum. Human Soldier. Yeah, use those two Ultimatums. Better be running five colors. Wonder if that's possible. Can you do it fast enough? Run five colors? In my experience, no. Have to have a lot of evolving wilds and things to hunt down the right color at the right time. Whisper Squad, Pyroceratops, Migratory Great Hound, Horn, keep saying Hound, Great Hound, Sabretooth, Fully Grown, Boon of the Wish Giver, Primal Empathy, Starx, and a non foil classification, along with a lurking dead eye flash him in and destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn anyway that's it got a triome got Kogla and we got Vivian so Vivian and uh, the triome are definitely uh, up there in the top uh, eight or nine right so we got that going for us anyway that's all I got for today uh, we'll see you tomorrow for some more Perdido Key Gaming. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to leave some comments. Anyway, we'll, we'll catch you tomorrow.